Hey guys, I'm Semfi, and welcome to part two of my Crunker Editor tutorial. Today we'll cover more advanced tips, grouping, assets, terrain, some new changes since part one, and importing and exporting maps. Let's hop right into it. Okay, starting with grouping. In the top left of the editor, underneath the advanced tab, you'll find the grouping tab. The way you group objects is pretty simple. Make a new cube or press P to make a new placeholder and stretch it over everything you want to group. It doesn't need to completely encompass everything. It just needs to intersect everything you want to select. It will select anything it's touching. So make sure it's not touching the ground. Otherwise, it will also select the ground. Once you have your cube or placeholder in place, just click create group and your objects will be grouped. You can now move them around, duplicate them, delete them, or whatever else you want. When you're done with the group, you click stop group. If you've duplicated a bunch of groups, it's easier to click stop all groups than to select each one and click stop group. Now on to assets. Right above the grouping tab, under the advanced section, you'll find the assets tab. A good place to find assets is the MMOK Discord server under the asset gallery. I'm going to use this Zodiac boat. Just click on the file. It will show up in your downloads bar. Open it up, select all, copy it. Back in the editor, you'll need something to replace the asset with. So I'm just gonna make a cube and then I'll click JSON import, paste the text, and boom, there's our asset. You can also just import the straight file through file import. Now let's look at terrain. As of the recording of this video, terrain is not customizable, at least I don't think so, but each seed is unique and random. Terrain is collidable, but in my opinion, it's best used as a backdrop right now. You can adjust the mountain height under the terrain tab to make it more mountainous or flat. You can also adjust the colors of the different things to make them whatever you want. To get rid of terrain, just delete the seed. A few things have changed since I recorded part one of the series, so I'll go over those as fast as I can. A new zone tab has been added, but I haven't been able to get it to work for me. It creates a large purple zone around your entire map. The sky settings have been separated from the map config tab, and a new game config tab has been added where you can change the modes, classes, and settings of your map. A new teleporter has been added where you can teleport from one place to another. Also you can now place weapons to pick up, but so far this hasn't worked for me. Okay, now some custom tips and tricks that I've picked up by playing around with the editor. Placing two ladders inside each other will make you climb the ladder twice as fast. You can add a boost value to ramps that will shoot you forwards or backwards at high speeds. If you want to stack two crates on top of each other, put an invisible cube and turn off the collision on the crates. That way people won't be able to climb up. Vinces will still be able to get up here, but if you add some invisible boxes, it's off limits. You can make some good looking windows by turning the opacity down on the default texture. Well, now you have a map. Let's learn how to save it. Just click export map and it will download a text file. This is your version of saving the map. In order to continue working on it, you need to open the text file, copy all the text, then on a new editor tab, click import map and paste the text. In order to upload your map, export the map, go to a new crunker tab, go to maps, publish map, and paste your map data here. Then click publish. Okay, that's it. I hope you found these tutorials useful and let me know in the comments if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Share this video with some friends that are starting out with the Crunker Editor. And have a great rest of your day.